Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial video. Today, we're going to show you how to set up Big Box as your Windows shell. Basically, what this is going to allow us to do is just go ahead and boot our PC directly into Big Box without ever seeing the Windows desktop. So we've made it really easy to do this from within Big Box, and right now I'm just on a little HP PC that I've got set up with Big Box. I've just turned it on. We're never going to see the desktop. It's going to go directly into Big Box. Now, startup video is definitely a must. That way it kind of offsets that black screen, but uh, I've just installed a shorter one. It's about 12 seconds, and as you can see, we're now in Big Box. We're actually ready to use this PC. This comes in really handy for arcade cabinets or even smaller emulation builds where you just want to get right into some gaming with this awesome front end. I'm also going to go over startup applications. Now with recent updates to LaunchBox, we can actually start up applications once we start LaunchBox or Big Box, and this is going to come in really handy for controller software or even light gun software. But before we jump into it, I wanted to show you the old method that I personally used with my arcade cab. Now basically, I'd take the Big Box EXE and put it in the Windows Startup folder. That way, Big Box would automatically start up, but it does take a lot longer because it needs to load everything in that Windows shell first, and then it'll load Big Box up. So we'll shut this down. And once that's done, we'll just go ahead and start the PC back up. Now when it comes to the HP logo, that's due to the BIOS in this PC. Some PCs do have a quiet BIOS option or a quiet boot option that won't show any logos or any kind of prompts and you won't get any of that. But unfortunately with this one here, I don't have a quiet boot option. But as you can see, using the startup folder method, it's brought us right to the desktop and it's going to take a few seconds for Big Box to start up because uh, everything's still loading from that window shell right now. And we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. I'll just tell you, it cut down boot times by 1 minute and 20 seconds by setting Big Box as the shell instead of the old method using the startup folder. So we're finally getting into it. And this is really because once Big Box is set up as the shell, we don't have to load all of those extra Windows features in the background. So if you're interested in getting Big Box set up as your shell, let's go ahead and jump into it. We're going to move over to my game capture. This is pretty simple to do. So first things first, since we're going to be replacing the window shell with Big Box, when we start the PC up, we're going to boot directly into Big Box without even seeing the Windows desktop. Now when we're doing this, we also might want to launch some extra applications along with Big Box, like let's say light gun controller software or even joystick controller software. On my desktop, I've got X360CE. Now you don't have to use this if you don't want to. This is an Xbox 360 controller emulator. And I want this to start up when Big Box does. Now we can do this with basically any application. And it's actually made really easy, but we have to access this option through LaunchBox. So I'm going to set X360CE to start up when Big Box does. We're going to go to Tools, Options, Startup Applications. So I want to add this application here, right on my desktop. There's an option right here, start with both, meaning LaunchBox and BigBox, or we could just go with BigBox or LaunchBox. It's really up to you. I'm just going to leave it set to both, but this is the application I'm going to have start up when BigBox does. That way it's already running, ready to go. I've already got this controller software application configured, so it's going to be ready to go once it boots up. I'm going to choose OK, and remember we can add multiple applications there. Now. We're going to go ahead and set up Big Box as our Windows shell. So we're going to head into Big Box. And remember, it's good practice when using this method to also use a Big Box startup video. Big Box. From Big Box, we're going to head to our system menu, options. General, and right here we have a new option to enable using Big Box as the Windows shell. When we enable this, it's going to give us a little bit of a warning. I would go ahead and read through this a couple times just so you know exactly what's going on. What this is going to do is replace the Windows shell, so we're not going to see the desktop when we boot this PC up. This is great for arcade cabs, like I mentioned. It's going to boot directly into Big Box. This is definitely the fastest way to get into Big Box once you turn your system on. 
So go ahead and read through everything. We're going to choose yes, but remember, it's very easy to revert back to the original Windows shell. We're going to choose yes. Big Box was successfully set as our Windows shell. The next time we reboot, Big Box will come up as the shell. Easy enough, huh? So now, we can actually reboot directly from here, or we can exit Big Box this first time because we still have the original Windows shell running right now. It's going to bring us back to the desktop. But remember, once we enable this and reboot our system once, we're not going to be able to access the desktop unless we go back to our options, general, and disable using Big Box as the Windows shell. But we want to leave it just like it is. I'm going to go ahead and shut down my system, and I'll be right back. All right, so we've replaced the Windows shell with Big Box. We'll start our PC up. Again, when it comes to the BIOS logo, some PCs do have a quiet option. You can access the BIOS and turn that off, so you'll never see that logo. I've got the HP here. And instead of going to the Windows desktop, it's going to bring us directly into Big Box. And again, I can't stress this enough, it's good practice to use a startup video with Big Box. So obviously, it's really easy to set up, and it's really easy to disable. Options, General, disable using Big Box as the shell. That way, next time we boot up, it's going to go back to the desktop. But let's say you ran into an issue where you exited Big Box while it was set up like this. You're at a black screen. Oops. I exited Big Box on accident. Windows shell isn't running. As you can see, that startup application is running in the background here, the one we added. Now, in order to get back to Big Box, it's a bit different for Windows 10 and Windows 11. For Windows 10, we're going to press Control, Shift, Escape on our keyboard. From File, Run New Task. We can Browse. And now we can navigate to Big Box. Mine's on a separate drive. Launch Box. Big Box. OK. And for Windows 11, if you accidentally exit Big Box or it shuts down for some reason, you got that black screen. Control, Shift, Escape, and you'll see a Run New Task button. So we don't have to go to that file, run new task. There should be a button located there in Windows 11. We're back in Big Box. Now, if we want to disable it, let's say we just keep running into an issue where we get that black screen. System menu, options, general, disable using Big Box as the Windows shell. Next time we reboot, it's going to bring us right to the desktop. So we definitely tried to make this as easy as possible, and the old method still works. It just takes a lot longer to boot into Big Box when you have Windows Shell running at the same time. So uh, this is going to come in really handy for people with arcade caps that just want to get right into some gaming. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. We really appreciate you watching and hope you enjoy this new feature. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And definitely keep an eye on the forum and the YouTube channel because we've always got new features coming to LaunchBox and Big Box. But like always... Thanks for watching.